Hey, what's up, guys? Ancient here, bringing you another ep well, no, a brand new playthrough because I've been wanting to play Call of Cthulhu for a long time. I've already played Alien Isolation, so I'm putting that on the back burner for a little bit. I will play it. I'm going to play it. I, I promise. It will happen. I'm not just going to abandon it like I did Dead Space uh, 1, Impossible Mode, and some other shit. Uh, I'm fucking with my pop filter right now, so that's why you're hearing some weird stuff. But, yeah, for now, because Call of, Call of Cthulhu is out, and I've been wanting to play Call of Cthulhu for a real long time, because it's a mystery game, I love mystery games, and H.P. Lovecraft is one of the greatest writers of all time. So, yeah. This is gonna be cool. Uh, Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. That's a great way to die. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new e case quickly or risk losing his license. Hmm. Enter madness. Oh shit. Oh shit, what the hell is all this? Oh god, a shark! Turn that down a little bit. Adjust the pop filter slightly. There we go. Oh shit, game saved. Where the hell am I? FPS steady 30. I don't need to reduce anything. Jesus, this motion blur. Where am I? Edward, what the fuck did you do? How drunk were you to end up here? Okay. Apparently you're not the Hulk, you can't break chains open. You can't break those cuffs. I'm assuming... Yep. Holy shit, why are your hands even more bloody now? Or are they more bloody? I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. What? What is happening? I don't understand. What do I do? No. Cool, a lantern. Oh, okay. So I guess I can't interact with things I can't see. Yeah, this place is creepy as fuck. Okay. That was super creepy. What is this?
What the hell? I'm not going over there. I heard that from behind me. Fuck these headphones. Okay. Don't fight. You have been chosen. I don't know what's happening. Behold. Behold. Everything has already been written. Where did your faces go? Why do all of you lack eyes? Oh! Tentacle monster! What is happening? Yep, saw that coming. Then why do you drink it, you drunken bitch? My private detective agency, you contracted to the Wentworth De Detective Agency. Uh, after the Great War, I decided to set up in Boston, where there is no lack of work for guys like me. One small-time case follows the other. Adultery, settled scores, disappearances that are not actually disappearances. The old office couch is less comfortable than a real bed, and I should probably get rid of these empty bottles. But this place is mine. For the moment. I won't drink. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmare. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay, but I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? Well, Cthulhu. Oh, cool. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Damn it! Occultism. Hi there. Good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed the ca this case, but when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Huh. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Huh. Been too long since I've slept in a bed. Maybe you should buy a bed then. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Ah. Allocate thine character points. Uh. What? Mm hmm. <laughs> huh. Oh, I get it. Okay. Uh Good enough. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will soon be 
up to date. And on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? Sure, go ahead. As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And mm -hmm. it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still... Huh. I'm coming. Ah, oh, it's Stan I Lee. Here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem, and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, huh. her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... D I've hmm. brought all that I have. Ooh. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Uh, it's been a while since I've played a game that I've never played before. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic. A rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes. Please. All right. I'll look at your picture. Huh? That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Well, let's stare at the painting for a while. What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. Huh. A warehouse on Darkwood. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. A shipping label. Some of it is unreadable, but I can <clears throat> make out part of the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. Who names anything Darkwater? The police report, it says, uh, the police report. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decide on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental fra frailty. Why? A press cutting an article written about the marriage. Why is it written that way? About the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. Uh. So, Mr. Yeah. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this.
The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. Then you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Okay. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking Oop. to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. How has it been 15 I minutes already? In this case than just an accident. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Okay. Uh... The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? Wait, I already asked this. Why wasn't it green? Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Darkwater? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. <coughs> you must uncover it. Okay. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Why are you That's looking something. beside him? An artist dies like with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. <sighs> Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's cool. Wow. But it's not like I have a choice. Dark water. Uh, maybe it's him. I think maybe I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Can't shut that off. Uh, Natural there. sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Dark there. water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Huh. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with many memories left by its lost tribes. But don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences, such as na naive and primitive beliefs, fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long-abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows, but today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small land off the coast of Massachusetts.